my feet up, boss little. Call me when I'm feeling sick. Call me when I'm feeling down. Call me when you need someone to talk. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see by the time of the video, I am back again with another hair tutorial. This is another butterfly lock. If y'all haven't seen my first butterfly lock, go ahead and check that video out. I'm gonna, it's gonna be right here on the screen. I'm doing this one because I posted a story yesterday on Instagram and on my Snapchat and y'all was asking me about these butterfly locks. So I was like, let me go ahead and give y'all an updated butterfly lock review. So these locks are a little different. They're like a tad different from the first video because they're more juicier. Like they're fatter, they're like just, just more juicier. They're like more distressed, bigger and fuller. And I did less. I think I only have like 35 locks in my hair. So yeah, I'm gonna just be showing y'all how I achieve this look. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And if y'all wanna see how I style these and what outfits I put these locks with, follow me on Instagram. Period. Let's go ahead and get into the video. First, I'm gonna just start off by showing y'all the products that you're gonna need to achieve this style. Of course, you need some jam. This is like $3.99 at the dollar store or your local hair store. You need this hair. This is the hair that's going to help you get that distressed look. And then you need, of course, some Marley hair. Y'all can get Marley hair from Amazon. Y'all can get it from anywhere. But the main hair that I got right here is going to be linked down in the description box below. This is the hair that gives it that distressed look. Some rubber bands and some scissors. And y'all, I literally recorded this video last night and half of the footage was deleted. I don't know what happened, but for some reason my footage was not there. So that's why my head is already finished. I'm just going to take this lock out right here and I'm going to show y'all how I did this one on camera. Because I don't like how long this one is. So I just decided to redo that one. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Left one, I left one out so I can show y'all how I'm going to do this. I'm going to slow this down. If I feel like y'all don't, y'all not catching on fast enough, like if we not here, I'm gonna redo another one, but let me just show y'all how to do one. And we gonna see where y'all at. So I told y'all we gonna need some rubber bands. You can literally get rubber bands from the dollar store. You can get them from Walmart. You can get them from the hair store. You can get them from anywhere. Some jam, this jam is about $3.50. This is the extra whole kind. If you have like 4B, 4C hair, I would recommend getting this kind. Or if you don't have this, that's fine. You can get some um, edge control. I also have this right here. This is just some cheap edge control that I got from the dollar store. So what I start off by doing first, y'all, I'm not bald headed. I promise I cut my hair off a few months ago. That's why my hair is really, really short. So if you have short hair, girl, it's okay. This hairstyle is teen, teen, teen bald headed. It's okay. So I want to start by taking a little bit of my jam and I basically just base it all around the perimeter of the box. You could do triangles, you can do box. I usually do triangles, but this time I decided that I wanted a little natural look, more of a natural look, so I decided to do the boxes. So you basically just wanna put jam all around the perimeter of the lock. If y'all hear something in the background, I do apologize, it's my TV in the background. Okay, so you just wanna base it. Once you do that, you wanna take a rat tail comb or like just a smaller tooth comb and make sure the jam is mixed in real good. Okay, and then you wanna take two rubber bands. If your hair is sensitive, you can use one, but I recommend using two. I'm gonna take that and just tie this around the base of my hair. You don't wanna put it too tight, just because you are gonna have to crochet the, um, the curly hair in between it, but you just wanna do it tight enough Okay, so this is how that's looking. That's the part. And then you're gonna take crochet needles. This hair actually came with crochet needles, so if you don't already have one, it's okay. It came with crochet needles. You're gonna take the crochet needle, and then you're gonna put it in the base of the log. I usually put it behind. I don't know, I just do. That's what I prefer. And I told y'all I was gonna be using Marley hair. Y'all already know you can get Marley hair from the dollar store. Can you? I don't know, but you know you can get Marley hair from a hair store, Walmart. You can pretty much get Marley hair from anywhere. Amazon, I am gonna link the Marley hair that I'm using, I did get it off Amazon. So you're gonna take your Marley hair and I already cut it in half. You wanna put it on the end, close the hook and just pull it through. And like I told you, I already cut it and measured my Marley hair out. So you wanna basically cut your Marley hair to the length that you want. So I'm gonna be doing mine about, not really shoulder length, about neck length. So I already cut my Marley hair. So now you have your natural hair and your molly hair. 
And then I told y'all I was going to be using this hair, which is going to be linked down below. This video is not sponsored, but if you're watching this and you got kinky or protective style hair, go ahead and sponsor your girl. But this is what we have right here. I'm going to take two strings. I start off by taking two strings and then I'm going to add more. So I take this hair and I kind of just start like fluffing it out. So it can get that distressed look. This is where a lot of y'all mess up at. Make sure y'all don't. I know I'm ashy. Don't don't mind me. I'm busted. But we gonna go ahead and take this, and we want to like get it thicker. This is how you get that distressed look. You don't want the hair to be unified. You want it to be. You want to comb it out and get it a little nappy. And then you're gonna take this, and you're gonna crochet this in. Again, the same way you put the Marley hair in, place it in the back. You close your needle, pull it through. Bam. Okay, so now you're gonna take your Marley hair and then the other end of the Passion Twist hair, and then you take your natural hair and hold it. This part is very, very important. You wanna wrap it around just a few times. This is very, very important. You want it to be really, really tight. I'm going to wrap it around three to four times. After you do that, you want to take, you got the Marley hair and your natural hair over here. You want to take your finger. This is how you get the distressed look. You take your finger and you start wrapping. You wrap with your finger in the way. I do it about two times. And then I start wrapping tightly. And then I'm gonna take my finger again. Now I'm using my thumb. You're wrapping, you're wrapping. And then you wanna remove your thumb. And now you wanna wrap tightly, tightly. And then you wanna take your finger and you wanna wrap over it. You're wrapping, you wrap over it about two or three times. And then you want to move your finger and that's pretty much how you get the distressed look you see what i'm doing y'all see that so you take it you wrap you wrap take your finger 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 bam and now when we get to the end of it you see we have the marley hair left over at the end you want to just take one string so i used about three to four screens of the passion twist hair and i think it came with 14 each bundle i think it came with 14 um individual twists you want to pull it out so you can get that distressed look and then you want to hold the whole thing together like this you want to add this to the bottom to get it that um thickness you want to wrap wrap and you see my fingers in the way i'm wrapping over my finger you just want to do it two or three times you move it and then you wrap tight tight and then now I'm taking this finger I'm gonna wrap over it I'm wrapping over it and then I want to move my finger wrap over it okay now I'm gonna take my finger and y'all when we get to the end okay this is what we're working with when we get to the end you still gonna see your Marley hair and then you're gonna see the passion twist hair. You wanna just start wrapping upwards. I do see videos where people are burning the ends, but I didn't burn any of these ends. I just wrapped it upwards. So you wanna go all the way down to the end to make sure you cover the Marley hair and then you'll start wrapping upwards. And that's what we have. That's how you pretty much get the, the extra, extra distress butterfly locks. And then I'm going to take this one and place it over there. And y'all, that's pretty much how I got this look. Of course, it's your prerogative. You can gel your edges and do your edges and, you know, you can do all of that good stuff. But I'm not even going to do that because I'm literally about to go to bed so I'm not going to put any gel or anything on my edges. But of course, if I was to go out, I would gel my edges. Again, this pretty much is the finished look. If y'all would like to see like a more detailed video, 
I definitely will give y'all that. But like I said, it's 2 o'clock, going on 3 o'clock in the morning. So I'm not even going to take another one of these out because your girl is tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. But yeah, everything will be linked down in the description box below. If this video helped you, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all have any, any additional questions, please, 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 please comment them down below. And I guess I'll see you girls in my next video. Peace.